no doubt, Jesus cares more about the internal than the external. The interior disposition than the outward appearance. However, there is no doubt too that Jesus hopes our external appearance is nothing but a reflection of our interior disposition. The balance of health, hygiene, and holiness is undoubtedly the main agenda of Jesus' ministry. Otherwise, he would just have left the crippled, the lepers, the lame, the blind, the deaf, and their likes to their physical disabilities. After all, most of them, if, if not all, have a beautiful inner life. Your years of configuration in the seminary have the same agenda as of Jesus. After six years or more of Vianney formation, the seminary hopes that your inner life is as close as your external life. Your external actions are nothing but manifestation of your internal disposition. Thus, all the pillars of formation, spiritual, human, academic, pastoral, and ecological, are structures, supports, and studies braced together to form the inside of you. And when the time is ripe, their marks fully and truly embedded in your person, the brace can then be removed. While Jesus tells us in today's gospel not to worry about what enters our mouths, for they will not enter our hearts, the lab test results last Saturday should make you think twice. The high cholesterol and fasting blood sugar, sugar are indeed caused by what entered your mouth for the past months. However, there is one thing we should watch out for at all times and be intentionally conscious of. It will indeed defile not only our hearts but also our whole person. This one thing could be summarized by the words of Lao Tzu. He said, and I, and I quote, What's your thoughts? They become your words. What's your words? They become your action. What's your action? They become your habits. What's your habits? They become your character. What's your character? It becomes your destiny. End of quote. Seminarians of God, future priest of Mindanao, Buhol and Maasin, I enjoin you all to guard your minds against all heart-damaging thoughts that in this modern world and time come mainly from the internet and social media. These thoughts will indeed defile your person, but mostly your soul.